Hey guys, Woody here, welcome back, and this is another installment in the remaking of a Champman 0102 Legend here in FM23. And if you haven't have guessed who it is already, well, today we are doing one of the, you know, CMO 102 absolute wonder kid superstars, probably one of the most famous on the game. It is obviously none other than Cherno Samba himself. But, before we get into this... If you're liking this type of content or your other sort of FM23 content or Chatman0102 content, well, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. Smash a like on this video, lets more people know that it is here. And as I said before in the last video, uh, which you can check that out, as on Alexander Farnerud, uh, popping up in the top there, you can go and uh, watch that one as well, before or after this one, either, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments any other sort of Champman 0102 Wonder Kids that you would like me to remake. Remember, it is specifically the ones that, you know, their footballing career didn't quite turn out as well as they did in that uh, version of the game. Anyway, let's get into Cherno Samba. Let's have a look at him here as a 17 year old. Uh, he is obviously at Millwall, uh, 17 years old. Striker, both footed as he is in the game. Here are his stats now. You should see them pretty soon. And uh, so that's where I've taken them from. Uh, he is obviously, he is from Gambia. He was born there and he actually played a couple of games, I think four in total for the uh, the Gambia national team. So, uh, but here he is at the moment, 17 years of age. Obviously, physically, he is quite immense as, you know, he was when he was a, uh, a, a young player there. Uh, determination, flair, the teamwork, and obviously the penalty taking. Technicals aren't great, uh, but, you know, still finishing and first touch there. They're still an heading. They're still eight, technique, nine, composure, ten, concentration, decisions, uh, anticipation, off the ball, eight, work rate, ten. So I'm sure these will all go up as he develops over the next five years. He's obviously at Millwall at the moment, which is where he started his career. Uh, he has been made available for loan as well. So I guess, you know, Without any further ado, we should probably go ahead five years and see what Cherno Samba looks like at 22. He's probably not still at Millwall, I reckon. We'll go and find out. I'll see you in a tick. All right, guys, we are back five years in the future, and Cherno Samba is a Manchester City player. Wow. Not bad. He is worth 37 to 111 million. That is a crazy, ridiculous price range. He's on 84k a week. He has 28 under-21 caps and 18 goals for the under-21, so not bad. Really, really good stats there. Really good start to his international career. I'm, I'm loving that. You can see his stats have gone up quite a lot here, or, you know, a couple across the technicals and the mentals. Still got that good determination, flair, penalty taking, and the physicals still outstanding. That balance, pace, acceleration, and agility. So he moved on loan to Hartlepool. But 42 games, only scored 9 goals. He thought he would have done a bit better. Came back to Millwall, 22 games, 7 goals. Uh, moved to Man City for 6.75 million. And then went back on loan to Millwall, playing 14 games and 4 goals. Not great. And since then, his, his career has really just stymied at Man City. 6 appearances, 2 appearances, and 3 appearances. Only 1 start in all competitions. So... I mean, Cherno, man, I think you've got to leave Man City. So he senior club, obviously, for Hartlepool. First thing you go for Hartlepool, bought for Man City for 9.75 in total. Millwall best 11, Community Shield winners, um, that's Premier League champions, and Europa League winners. So that's all Cherno Samba has for the moment, but he is pretty young. Um, I'd like some of his technicals to get a little bit better, especially his finishing. Uh, and, and so forth. Hopefully, with a bit more game time over the next few years, he will start to get those um, the tribute, attributes up a little bit more. But let's go and check out Cherno Samba at age 27, if my maths is correct. Yep, it's correct. We'll see you in a tick. All right, guys, we're back another five years in the future. It is 2032, and here is Cherno Samba. Is he still at Man City? Did he kick on, or did he, uh, you know, move clubs to try and resurrect his uh, career? Let's find out. He is at Chelsea, 27 years old. Same price tag, bit more of a pay. You can see here he's had a move to Barcelona in the middle. 
Um, stats wise, still looking very similar. These have gone up a couple here and finishing a couple. Still the great physicals. He likes to play short, simple passes, not to fall past the moment. Doesn't dive into tackles interestingly and runs with the ball often. But just having a look at the stats down the bottom, he hasn't started a lot for Chelsea. We'll go and have a look at his career stats. So we left him here at Man City. He then. Four games off the bench for goal. Had a bit more of a better season. 20 games, but only the two starts. You can see here he's starting. The game, amount of games he's starting is the goals he's scoring. So if he starts more, he then gets a £31 million to Barcelona, where things are looking good. 24 get league games. Starts 15, 11 goals. So 17, 16, probably as a squad player, but 13 goals. And his, his best season yet. So... That obviously prompts a move to Chelsea for £39 million, where then he only starts two games in the league and five and struggles scoring goals. He hasn't even hit 50 league goals yet, and he's played 186 games. Cherno, Cherno, Cherno. Mate, it has... Your career has stalled. They won the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, season of best 11 bought by Barcelona, season of best 11. He got a cap, but I didn't even see that. First cap against Argentina and first goal against Canada. It's two and two... So, huh, he must have got a double against Canada. We'll go and check out England for that. Um, and then he was bought by Chelsea. Chelsea best 11 and Chelsea seasonal best 11. So, England, that was, well, I didn't even check the year for that. That was 2030. Um, so, let's go and have a look a couple of years ago here. Uh, there it is, Canada. Uh, a penalty and another one, and um, oh, is the friendly against Argentina where he makes his debut and doesn't score anything. I can't click on that, um, but disappointing there from uh, Cherno Samba, to say the least. He's uh, it hasn't gone well for him, it hasn't gone well. The move to Man City looked good in the beginning, but I mean, over all these years here from here to here. I mean, well, actually, if we go back to here, we can see on his profile page here. If 35 appearances for Man City in seven years, that's five appearances a year and only three goals. That is abysmal. Better at Barcelona, but then once again, Chelsea, he struggled 49 appearances and 12 goals. He's just not quite hitting the heights that we thought he would. He's got 10 more years. To, well, he's probably got to resurrect his career in five more years. If he doesn't, then it is... It's going to be a bust, second one a bust. Anyway, let's shoot forward five more years and find out if Cherno Samba has managed to resurrect his career for a second time running. Um, so I've made a small boo-boo. I, um, yeah, so when Cherno Samba was supposed to be 32, I accidentally saved over that save file twice with different files because I was rushing. That's what happens when you rush people. Uh, you you make mistakes. So uh, this is now 10 years in the future from when Cherno was uh, 27. Uh, so we'll we'll go and have a look at him. I have a feeling he has just retired, which is why I'm back a year early, or he's just about to retire. Um, let's go check him out. And in fact, here he is as a loan manager. He has actually just retired. Must have retired very, very recently. So we're not going to have a, yeah, a look at his stats, unfortunately, because we've gone to... But he, he literally retired the other day. Hold on a second. Right, I've gone back in time because I have another save file just before. And here is Cherno Samba. He is uh, 36 years old. He is about to retire. He is at Nottingham Forest now. Um, you can see his career here is a little bit... You know, his stats have dropped off, especially those physicals. He never got more than two caps for England, uh, unfortunately. Bit of a blow. It doesn't look like his uh, his career has really, really kicked off. You have a look at these goals, and ouch. So last time we were back here was 2032, yeah, because we should have come back here. So he had a long career at Chelsea, but you have a look. Like, he's playing 20-odd games, but you have a look even at this year here. He was 23 off the bench. Another 23 off the bench, started 10. So look, he started 10 and got 9 in the league. When when Cherno started, he scored goals, but he just didn't really start enough games. In his final year in Chelsea there, he didn't actually score a goal. This was his best season uh, uh, for Barcelona. 
you see, he started 15. We spoke about this last episode, and it's the only season where he actually scored double figures. <laughs> he then moved to Reading as they got promoted to the Premier League and didn't start games. And then he left to go to Nottingham Forest. He started to start games here, but at this point, he's, he's, you know, his physical fitness is going down. His physicals are gone, and his, he just... She's never really hit the heights. I'm, I'm really quite disappointed about, about how this has ended up. 398 appearances, so 2 for 400, but only 79 goals. That is not a goal return for you want from a, a world-class striker. And unfortunately, it just didn't it just didn't kick off Cheno Sam, but that going to Man City really, really killed his development here. It's absolutely destroyed him here, I think. Um the move to Barcelona was brilliant, but then the move to Chelsea just killed him again. Just absolutely just just stymied his, his career. This this move here and this move here. Uh, it's it's disappointing. I mean he moved for eighty four just under eighty five million in his whole career. Let's have a look at those milestones back from uh two thousand and thirty three onwards. So um he's getting named in the Chelsea Best Eleven FA Cup winner. Best 11, best 11, which is strange. Must be just getting on the bench, yeah, just getting on the bench. Um, bought by Reading, relegated from the Premier League. Bought from Nottingham Forest, relegated from the Premier League. It's not, it's not the best, it's not the best career for Cheno Sam, but as you see here, bought, this is when he got bought by Barcelona. Uh, he made his, he made his England debut against Argentina. Yeah, poor Cherno, he just, I mean, I'm just I, we're comparing to last episode where we did Alexander Farner and he just kicked off at Milan. Poor Cherno has not had the career that he that that I would have expected of him. I mean, I, I, I keep going on it, but that's his highlight of his season. But unfortunately, that is the end for Cherno. He's retiring. We know he's going to become a loan manager in the next couple of days. Would have, I mean, he probably needs to score to be a good striker, a good, another minimum 100 league goals. He only broke doubles once in his whole career, which was uh, a bit of a, a bit of a blow uh, for him. And his average rating here, that was, he, he had a 7 here, and obviously that 7.0, they were his best. The only average is 6.81 over his whole career. Anyway, guys, we are going to leave it there. That is Cherno Samba uh, remade, probably not the best. Um, outcome in the end, unfortunately. But as I said, if you enjoyed this and you're not yet subscribed, if you could smash a like on it, and also as well, let me know in the comments what other CMO102 Wonder Kids who didn't quite make it in real life would you like to see remade? I've got another one coming out next week that I'm pretty sure is a favourite. I'll see you guys then. Bye.